Once again, a 3-2. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. Number 12 will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. Yeah, I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. Carlos Correa will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. The 1-1 home. Runners on the move for second. Swing and a high chopper to third. And McGee's throw is in time for the first out of the inning. Number 79 will be the batter. 0 for 2 thus far. Now the 3 and 2 pick. And now the runner's trying for third. Driven nicely into the gap. And it's going to get down and should be extra bases. And that'll plate the run from second as the lead shrinks to one at 3-2 now. And they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. Jorge Soler will dig in. He singled his last time around. Nelson Cruz will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 29, Nelson Cruz. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Byron Buxton will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Nelson Cruz will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Granke ready now, the 1-1. Slider is right there, 83 on the gun. It's 1-2. and two. Here it comes. Nelson Cruz. To two balls and two strikes now. That's definitely a borderline pitch there on one and two. I don't think he could have had any argument at the plate. But that was called strike three. On uh, a good curveball gets him swinging for route number one. Nick Hundley will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Swing and a miss as he starts the frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. Ready with a 2-1 home to Bourne. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Here comes the 1-1. Swing and a hot shot toward third. Oh, and he misses it. And some problems defensively as they allow him to reach first safely. Now here comes Brewers manager Ron Renicky out of the Milwaukee dugout. And he'll signal for the bullpen. That's going to be it for Jeff Samarja. Miguel Rojas will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's... Not. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit-by-pitch. Lucas Duda will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. He's running towards second. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Taking it out there for the first out. Jock Peterson will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And this one is gone. A home run. So a three-run blast to deep center here. Number 13 for him on the year, and it's now 5-3. to three. Freddie Garcia will come on and pitch here with one gone in the top of the seventh. Kyle Farmer will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. 
Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. Number 79 will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Ted Williams will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Now the double steal is on here. Pitch outside the throw. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision to say the least, and the inning is over. Ted Williams will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Now the one and one pitch. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. And he's retired here one away. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander's begun to get loose. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Another 0 2 from Grinky. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. We'll show you this delivery again in show motion. I mean, this is a big guy out there. He relies on throwing a good, hard fastball. So, so he's got to have everything in perfect alignment to get those few extra miles per hour. And that's part of what makes him such a good pitcher. Stepping in now, Casey McGee. That's lined in to left. He left that one up. It's a base hit. Connor Gillespie will get another crack. One for three thus far. The crowd gets up for the three-two. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move the runner up into scoring position now with two away. Number 25. We'll get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. Three runs, eight hits. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And this will be fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. To the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again. The 2-2 two -two one more time. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Bullpen working. And hold that thought as that's a strikeout for route number three. So the inning will come to an end. Ted Williams will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Number 24 will try again. Officially one for two in this one. A swing, and this ball's got some carry to it. High and deep to center field. Bourne retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Didi Gregorius will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And that's going to spell the end of the afternoon for Zach Greinke. Pat Mishak because he'll take over here in the game. Gerardo Parra will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here's the one, two. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. 
try again, one, two. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. DeAndre Navarro is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Miguel Rojas will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned it. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that odd end. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think. Sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. And this is fouled back and out of play. Another full count pitch home. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Buxton is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Casey McGee. We'll see if he can keep it going. Three for four thus far. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And that's by him. Down the line in right field toward the corner. Oh, this is a nice swing there. You can see he rifles this one just inside the chalk. Maybe he's just a little unlucky to get only a single out of it instead of two bases. Standing in now, Connor Gillespie. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Should the lead hold up in this one, the win would belong to Zach Grinke. The three one coming. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Runner goes for second. Taken for strike three. The throw. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. Number 25. Try and turn it around. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts thus far. The 2-1 home. They'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. Seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but, man, you just got to be able to put the ball in play. And he'll put this one away without much trouble, and the Cubs have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he definitely turned in the standout performance in this one. He finishes with an even 10 strikeouts, and he was instrumental in leading his guys to the victory. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The Cubs win this one 5-4. to four. So long from Milwaukee. Here now.